Good morning. How is everybody? Are you good? Right. Looking forward to another day at, at Legend VBS. All right. All right, it looks like we all are in the room now, so I'm going to ask you to sit down, quiet your voices. Thank you, because today we're going to explore the most important Bible story of all. Today we're going to meet Jesus, God's own son. God loves you so much that he sent his own son, Jesus, to be born and live on earth. And that is just so amazing. It was a long time ago. Jesus did amazing things because he had God's power. And let's start with prayer. So I'm going to ask you just to quiet your, maybe even take, let's all take a deep breath. Father, thank you for giving us the Bible that tells us about Jesus, your son. Thank you for how much you love us, that Jesus would give his life for us. Father, I pray that you would help us to put away anything that would distract us. Help us not to think about the people around us. Just help us to think about you and how much you love us. We want to hear your voice today. In Jesus' name, amen. The Bible tells us that when Jesus lived on the earth, he asked 12 men to come and travel with him. These friends called disciples went everywhere with him, and they saw and heard incredible things. They heard Jesus teach. They saw him heal sick people. They saw him feed a crowd of thousands with just a little bit of bread and a few fish. And they even saw him raise people back to life after they were dead. Jesus and his followers talked together, laughed together, and they became close friends. Peter was one of Jesus' closest friends. Jesus loved him and trusted him. And then Peter did something that a friend should never do, something that can break a friendship. To experience a bit of what happened, I need you. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of things, but one of the things we're not going to do is talk. We're going to be doing it all very quietly. So to experience a bit, of what happened between Peter and Jesus in their friendship. I'm going to ask you all to stand up in your crew, and you're going to stand shoulder to shoulder with the other people in your crew, making a circle around your crew leader who's going to be standing on the blue X on the floor. Why don't you hold your bags right now, or if they're a backpack, go ahead and put them on your backs, because I don't want you to trip on anything, because we're going to be moving a little bit. So just hold on to your bags, all right? And remember, you're going to be in a circle around your crew leader. So could crew leaders, could you make sure they're facing, they're facing you in the middle? So... You really aren't even facing me right now. You're facing your crew leader. And remember, we're, we don't need to talk about it. We're just, we're going to listen. Because this is so important. Jesus and Peter were close friends. Like you and your crew leader, who you're standing so close to each other. As I describe what happened... You're going to decide if what Peter did would have helped their friendship or hurt their friendship. If what he did would hurt their friendship, then you're going to take one 
small step towards your crew leader. If what they did, what he did, would have hurt their friendship, you're going to take one small step back from your crew leader. If you end up moving where you're going to be so close to somebody or something else that you're going to run into them, I want you just to sit down and turn away from your crew leader, all right? So everybody understand what we're doing? Oh, you're going to do great. The Bible tells us that Jesus asked Peter and the rest of his friends to join him at a special meal in Jerusalem, and Peter came. Would that help or hurt his friendship with Jesus when he came to the dinner? Would it help step closer to your crew leader or hurt step farther away? Everybody should be taking a step one way or another. Help or hurt. After the meal, Jesus asked Peter and his other friends to come with him to a garden and pray with him. And Peter agreed. Would that help move him closer to Jesus or hurt move him farther away from Jesus. You decide. You're going to take a step closer, step backwards. Remember, we don't need to talk. Your feet are moving, not your mouths. Thank you. Good job. But Peter and the other friends were very tired. And instead of praying, they fell asleep. Would that hurt? Would that help? or hurt Peter's friendship with Jesus? If it would help, move closer. If falling asleep would hurt, move farther away. Okay, remember, you don't need to talk. Peter woke up to find that soldiers were there to arrest his friend Jesus. So Peter pulled out a sword to defend his friend. Would that help his friendship? A step closer? or hurt his friendship a step away. The soldiers led Jesus away, and Peter followed to find out what would happen. As he waited for news, someone asked Peter if he was Jesus' friend, and Peter said, no. Would that help his friendship with Jesus or hurt his friendship with Jesus when he said, no, Jesus is not his friend. Two more times, Peter told others that he didn't even know Jesus. Would that help his friendship or hurt his friendship? The Bible tells us that finally Peter just ran away, leaving Jesus behind. Would that help his friendship or hurt his friendship with Jesus? The Bible tells us that Jesus let himself be beaten and spit on and finally nailed to a cross where everyone could see him die. Jesus was paying the price for all the wrong things that everyone in the world has ever done, and it was a high price to pay. After Jesus died, Peter and the rest of Jesus' friends hid in Jerusalem. There they heard that Jesus had come back to life again, just as he had said he would. I'd like you to sit down right where you are. Sit down right where you are. Now, look at where you're sitting compared to where your crew leader is. Are you close to your crew leader or are you far away? Far away, yes. Just the way that I think Peter was feeling about his friendship with Jesus. 
The Bible tells us that eight days later, Peter and most of the other followers were all together in a locked room when suddenly Jesus walked into the room alive, alive. Maybe Peter wondered if his friendship with Jesus was so broken that it could never be repaired. In many ways, he had actually turned his back on Jesus. And if that doesn't break a friendship, nothing will. A few days later, the Bible tells us that Peter and his friends went fishing when Jesus appeared again on the beach. Jesus spent time with Peter. Go ahead and turn toward your crew leader if you're not sitting that way. And inch a little closer. Jesus treated Peter as a friend. Inch a little bit closer. Jesus even gave Peter an important job to do, to tell others about Jesus so that they could know him and love him. You see, Jesus forgave Peter for all the wrong things he had done. And when friends do things that hurt their friendship, we need forgiveness to mend what was broken. Jesus forgave Peter. And when we ask, Jesus will forgive us for the wrong things we do too. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to tell your crews something that a friend did that could have broken your friendship. Maybe your friend spread lies about you or ignored you or told your secrets. Don't share the friend's name. Just tell what happened and how it made you feel. As you describe what the friend did, you're going to be given a craft stick that you're then going to break like that. Then after you break it, I want you to remember that you are going to use it for something very important. So you're not going to do anything else with it. You're just going to put it right on the floor in front of you and then wait to find out what you're going to do next, all right? For me, a time that a friend did something that could break our friendship was when my very best friend in grade school asked to copy my homework. And when I wouldn't let her do it, she ignored me for days. She wouldn't talk to me. She wouldn't play with me. <gasps> that hurt so much. Okay, crew leaders, it's your turn to start. You're going to take a craft stick, and you're going to tell about a time when a friend did something that could have broken your friendship. And remember, you're going to snap it and then put it on the floor in front of you. After you're done, choose a child to go next, and then as they're speaking, give them a craft stick. All right? Everybody understand? Great. Want to hear lots of talking, one at a time. Thank you. Like Peter, I've disobeyed Jesus. Like Peter, I've done wrong things. Like Peter, sometimes I haven't admitted that Jesus is my friend. If you've been like Peter, and you sometimes haven't been a very good friend to Jesus, pick up one piece of your broken stick and just hold it. If you're like Peter, and you'd like God to forgive you for the wrong things you've done, pick up the other piece of your broken stick. The stick you hold is broken, but forgiveness heals what is broken. So this is what the crew leaders are going to be doing for you. They're going to take tape, 
And one at a time, they're going to put your broken pieces back together in the shape of a cross. And leaders, as you do it, you are going to look that child in the eyes and you're going to say by their name, like uh, Sally, God forgives you. All right? So that's what you're going to do. So if I could have you do that right now, then when you're done, I'll tell you what you're going to do with the crosses. You can have everybody hold their cross up so I know you're done. If you, if you have an, a, a crew helper, would you help doing this too? You can help mend crosses and say, God forgives you, all right? So we would appreciate your help doing that. Remember, we're healing what was broken, so they're not going to look perfect, and that's okay. And it looks like some of the people, our friends from the prayer team are even willing to help. If you need help, they would be happy to come and help you. You're just going to have to give them some tape <laughs> because that tape is important for mending our broken sticks. Oh, I see somebody holding his cross up. Great. His broken stick that looks like a little cross. Oh, great. I see lots of them are done. Yeah, your crew leaders and crew helpers are doing such a good job of helping you with that. We're going to need to say thank you to them, aren't we? Because they're doing a great job. If your crew is finished, all finished, I'm going to let you come up to one of the crosses, and Miss Barbara's going to show you what we do. We're going to just press them on the cross. There are glue dots all over, and so just a couple of glue dots, you're going to stick them up there. Children, please don't go without your crew leader. So when your crew is all done, then I'd like the whole crew to go together. Thank you. Okay, so just go on up, stick them up there. Yes, and there is even sticky stuff on the back and on the sides. Just press, and once you're done, would you step away so that others can get close to the cross? Just go ahead and push it on there. You'll, they'll stick eventually.
And then once you are done, let's come back and sit down where you're, with your crew. Good job. Once you've successfully stuck your cross on the big cross, then please go back and sit down again. Thank you. Please go back and sit down again. You guys are doing such a great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking what's broken to the cross where God can heal because Jesus paid the price for our sins. Okay, everybody should be sit seated. Come and put them up. Okay, I have some friends that haven't done it yet. Would you please come up quickly and stick them on the cross? Very quickly, let's... So you can come back and sit down with your crew. Thank you. Did you oh, that's okay. It's broken anyway. Miss Barbara, could you help the, my, our friend here with, I think she can still stick it on. The tape came apart, but I bet we can make it stick on there anyway. Okay, once, I think, good job. Once they're stuck, then step away from the cross, please. Once they're stuck, uh, leader, it looks like you still got a friend who needs a help, help there. Yeah, there is, we put glue dots on top, too. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. You guys are doing such a great job. Let's go and sit back down again. We can sit back down again. You, this time you can be facing me. So let's turn, sit down. So the good news of all is that Jesus died to pay for our sins and to heal what is broken. You see, all of us, have, have had our friendship with God broken because of the sins in our lives. The Bible says that all of us have sinned, every single one. And the Bible says that sin has to be punished. But you see, that's the reason that Jesus died and came back to life again, to take the punishment that I deserved for all the wrong things I've done and that you deserve for all the wrong things you've done. And then he came back to life again to prove that he is stronger than sin or death. And I know that some of you have already told God this week that you're sorry for your sins and that you believe that Jesus died and rose again for you. And that's wonderful because now you can be sure that your sins are forgiven and that someday, when it's your turn, you'll be in heaven with God. But some of you may have not been ready, or maybe today is your first day, or you just aren't sure about that. We want you to be sure today before you go home. So we're going to give you a chance in just a minute to stand up 
and go and join our friends over there. And they are happy to pray with you. If you, you would like to pray to ask Jesus to forgive your sins and make you a child of God. And if you need, you would like them to pray about some problem in your life, they would be happy to pray with you about that. Or if you have questions about Jesus and about the Bible, then they would be happy to answer those questions for you as well. So I'm just going to ask, if you would like to pray, somebody to pray with you today so that you can know for sure that your sins are forgiven and that God knows that you believe in Jesus, would you just stand up right now? And we'll have a leader stand and go with you to make sure you get back to where you need to be. If you would like to go and talk with somebody, don't be ashamed to do it. We are happy to have you go. <clears throat> okay, I see a friend right here. Go ahead and walk over there. We'll make sure that we get a crew leader to go with you too. So if you want to go talk with our friends, be, feel free to stand up and go with them. They're happy to talk with you, pray with you, answer your questions. Okay. Okay, for the rest of you, remember, this isn't just good news. This is the best news. God forgives you. Yeah, yeah he does. And so before you leave, I want to give you this blessing. So would you put your hands out to receive your blessing? This is from your verse today, so you should recognize the words in it. May you remember that God is forgiving, gracious, merciful, slow to get angry, and rich in love that never fails. Amen. Okay, so now we're going to go out that doors. Maybe one of our crew leaders could open our doors.